Hey guys, I'm Tyler from Mishimoto, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Mishimoto silicone induction hose on the 2001 through 2007 Subaru WRX and STI. Tools required for the installation of the Mishimoto silicone induction hose for the 2001 through 2007 Subaru WRX and STI are 8mm wrench, 10mm wrench, 12mm wrench, 3 8 drive ratchet, ratchet extension, 10mm socket, 12mm socket, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. Estimated time for installation is approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes and it is a 4 out of 5 on the difficulty scale. First, we're going to disconnect the negative battery terminal. Next, we're going to disconnect the mass airflow sensor and remove the air filter. Next, to give ourselves some more room, we're going to remove the serpentine belt cover. In order to do that, we need to first remove the throttle cables. To take the clips out, you're going to reach around the back and pinch the back of the clip to push it right out. Next, remove the 10 millimeter bolt and swing the cover out of the way. Next, we're going to remove the top mount intercooler. To do that, we got to remove the two 12 mm bolts on each side and loosen the clamp. Next, disconnect the vacuum lines from the intercooler. Next, we're going to have to remove all of the connections to the induction hose. Next, unclamp the induction hose from the turbo inlet. In order to remove the stock hose, you have to cut off these two back ports from the induction hose. Space is limited in the engine bay, so when you're cutting off the ports, use something small like a Dremel or a hot knife. Next, loosen the 12 mm bolt holding the induction hose to the intake manifold. Now we're ready to install the Mishimoto induction hose. To make installation easier, there are three removable CNC fittings that we'll take out first. Make sure to get a nice tight connection on the turbo inlet. It might take some finessing. Now it's time to reinstall all the connections on your induction hose. Next, secure the induction hose to the turbo inlet with a clamp. Make sure to clamp it down tightly. Next, reinstall the intercooler. Make sure to hook up the intake hose to the turbo. Next, tighten down the coupler that connects to the intercooler. Next, reinstall the serpentine belt cover and make sure to clip the throttle cables back onto the cover. Next, reinstall the air filter. This one has an aftermarket air filter, so it's going to look a little bit different than yours. Once you've made sure everything's nice and tight, go ahead and start the car and make sure everything's working properly. Now that everything's all done, you can take your car for a spin and enjoy your new Mishimoto product. 